To skydivers, this part of the trip is like Christmas Eve to a kid. A ride up to 10,000 feet will take the five of us, including the pilot, about 20 minutes. It's a trip filled with anticipation, especially for a first-time tandem jumper like myself. And then it comes. We'll be standing on the step facing toward the prop. I'll tap you on the legs, you'll bring your legs up. I'll tap you on the arms, you bring your arms to your chest. And simply put your head back, it's a ready, set, go, and we're gone. The sight you're about to see will take your breath away. They did mine. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free. Hide away on a wing out of breath. The trip back down is considerably shorter, about four minutes. We're free falling at about 125 miles an hour. What does it feel like? Sort of like going down in an elevator with a cold blast of wind in your face. Then at about 3,500 feet, my jump master, Bill Hassenfuss, pulls a ripcord. Things get quiet, and now I help out. If the chute is open, I've got dual toggles, dual steering lines on there, and I'll indicate to you, you know, grab the toggles right below my hands, and you're going to help me steer this thing. We'll start getting our approach set up here. You're the pilot. I'm just the co-pilot. All we're doing is a glider. But what is normally a gentle approach turns into a bit of a knee scraper when we pick up a tailwind at the last minute. That was the only bad part of the flight. Yeah. Being a pilot, a flight Thanks instructor Thanks. once asked me why I'd want to jump out <laughs> of a good. perfectly good airplane. The answer, all? simple. Yeah. It's fun. Paul Daniel, Action 2 Sports, Pulaski.